two hundredth video. Two hundred. On this account, uh, this is the two hundredth video of, you know, doubt it's not, I mean, granted it's not the, you know, exact two hundredth video because I've had to delete videos, I had to repost videos. Similar to this one, I had to repost this one because there is no audio. But now, guys, there's audio. Sorry about that. I should really, sometimes I double check, sometimes I don't. This one I was in a hurry because I had to go somewhere today. I had to get a shot, so, uh, I just left right after I uploaded this, so I'm reposting this, and I forgot to mention the 200th video. It's been exactly about, f just about five months since I've been doing technology videos. A year since I've had my account, but that's, you know, I've started within five, about five and a half months, about there. And this is my 200th video, guys, my tutorial to be exact. Today will be an XP tutorial. One sure to kick off, uh, you know, it's a really good one. It's, uh, it's, it's pretty easy, no, not too complicated. So, two... 100th video. Let me just write that out. 200. I know my handwriting looks crappy. You would think over 200 videos I get better at this, but obviously I don't. So, 200 right there. I'm sitting also with about 9, 9, 10 Ustreamers in the chat right now. And we're all, we're all uh, watching on my Ustream at www.ustream.tv slash channel slash kidgurus hyphen tech world tech hyphen world hyphen or you can just type in ustream.tv slash kidguru and you'll find me there anyway 200th video guys uh, I have about what do, what I have about now about 300 let me see according to my uh, channel page I have 343 subscribers 10,917 17 channel views and you know I'm still going with all the videos uh, I want to thank all of my subscribers, all all of you guys out there who've you know been here along the way. It's uh you know it's been a great 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 time doing videos for you guys, and it's number two hundred, bigger than one hundred number you know it's a landmark guys. And with that, I want to give you a great XP tutorial today. And if you're wondering how I did this, I'm using a program called Zoomit. You can Google it. It's called Zoomit, Z O O M it space it. It's a Microsoft uh, application, so yeah. But anyways, uh, and I'm geeky because I'm doing this in command prompt, just because it stands out more. So, thanks guys, you know, for being there the whole time. Uh, it's it's been great, great, uh, great time doing the videos. And I'm like I said, I'm I'm, I'm not gonna stop. I'm gonna continue them. And like today, I have a great video for you guys using the program called Resource Hacker. Now this. Uh, even though it, despite its name, it does in a way go into the files and look at the resources. Nothing bad. It doesn't do anything bad. But uh, what it is basically, it's going to use your resources within files, and you can change them, edit them, stuff like that. And I'll be doing more tutorials with this. But today's tutorial will be a simple one, and uh, it's actually pretty cool though. How to change your start your start t menu text. And as you see here, mine says "Kid Guru." I should have made it say "200th video." Should have thought of that before this video. Anyway, guys, uh, enough of the chitter chatter. Let's get right into the video. First off, you're going to want to download this. It can be uh, downloaded safely through CNET, you know, safely anywhere pretty much, but well, not everywhere, but it's a great program. It's recommended by CNET, like I said. I'll give the link in the video description. Just click it, open it, uh, go to File, Open. Now you're going to want to go to your Windows folder. This will be at My Computer, Local C Disk, Windows. And then you're going to want to go to, uh, so you see there, my computer, local C, Windows. Go all the way to the end to explorer.exe. Now I have one Explorer Kid Guru, that's because I already did mine. Anyway, you just click that, hit open. Go to string table, hit open. Go to 37, hit open. Go to 1033. So you see right here, it says start. Right there. That's all you're going to want to mess with. That right there. You don't want to mess with anything else right now. Those will be for other tutorials. You basically exit that. Make sure you keep the quotations. For example, I have Kid Guru in there. You can put whatever you want. I'm not going to compile this one because it already has a, it's already, I already have a script. So when you put your whatever you want there, I don't know how long it can be. Just hit Compile Script. Now, you're not done yet, though. After you hit Compile Script, go to File, Save As... And save it as uh, save it in the same folder, and I would recommend just saving it as Explorer, and then the name you want to use. So Explorer, and then whatever name for me would be Kid Guru, and then make sure you put that you have to put dot exe. So you have to put dot exe. I know my handwriting looks crappy, but oh well. You have to 
guys if you don't put this when you boot off your when you boot off of it it's gonna get an empty shell and all you're gonna see is your desktop background D don't worry though I'm gonna tell you how you fix that if you accidentally screw up I screwed up the first time so don't worry anyway you after you do that you save it there and then you ex you can exit resource hacker that's all you're gonna use it for and that in in this step now you're gonna go to run you're gonna open up your registry go to reg edit then you're gonna click on so this is kind of a lot to go through I'm just gonna tell you from the top uh, H key local machine software Microsoft Windows NT current version and then you're gonna wanna go to win logon and just stay on that folder and you're gonna wanna go in the directories right here find shell double click it by default it will be on value data of explorer.exe change it to whatever exe file you saved it as so for example mine was explorer kidguru.exe remember it has to you have to put that save uh, file and resource hacker has to be in the windows folder so registry editor can find it it will boot off this uh, shell and this shell will be uh, tweaked with the uh, whatever you wanted to put in there and you can do this with other stuff but I won't be getting into that today but after that you just hit ok restart your machine or log off or even you have to restart I would just recommend restarting it's easiest and if you do screw up and all you see is icons or if, I mean if you don't see the icons or you don't see the status bar and you can see your desktops there and your mouse is moving uh, hit control alt delete go into the windows task manager because you might have screwed up on your uh, code and your reg ed reg registry editor so make sure you have that right make sure you save the file right and if for some reason it's just not working overall and you want to go back to the normal thing go to new task if, let's say you can't see anything hit control alt delete go to new task reg edit and then hit ok op it'll open it even if you can't see everything else it'll open the registry editor you can tweak it back to explore.exe and then you just restart and it'll be back to normal anyways guys it's a cool way to tweak out you know your start menu name it whatever you want and not having that start there I'm not even sure maybe you can even change the logo in the corner I'm not sure I have to look in more tutorials using this great program called resource hacker anyways guys thanks for stopping by thanks for watching all the videos thanks for commenting thanks for rating everybody's been here from the start even if you just joined 200th video guys uh, I'll make a special celebration vlog after this so anyways guys thanks for watching